There are 24 unreleased shiny Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet, and with so many people wondering where they are, we're going to figure out when they're dropping. Beginning with Coridon and Maridon, these shiny Pokemon will likely release at the end of this year, around November. Shiny Xerneas, Eveltal, Zacian, and Zamazenta all released about two years after their respective games released, so this would coincide with... Coridon and Maridon releasing two years after Scarlet and Violet. Terrapagos takes up the role of the third legendary Pokemon, the same role that Eternatus takes in Sword and Shield. Shiny Eternatus was released to celebrate Scarlet and Violet's release about three years after Sword and Shield released, so we can expect the same with Terrapagos. Okay, I know we're like three Pokemon in, but <laughs> this is where it gets really tricky uh, to predict what's going to happen. This is a lot of work to figure out, so you know, if you want to help out, you can, you can click the little subscribe Vibe button. Right. Pokemon Day 2024 is right around the corner. It's the 27th of February 2024, and it's possible that one of the five Pokemon from Generation 8 who you still can't obtain uh, as a shiny will be released then. These Pokemon being both Urshifu forms from the Isle of Armor, Calyrex, Spectria, and Glastria from the Crown Tundra, and Enamorous from Pokemon Legends Arceus. My money's on Urshifu, personally. I think it's a pretty cool Pokemon. It's very popular. I think Game Freak know that, so they'll want to release this shiny, you know, soon, hopefully. Time for a quick history lesson. Pokemon Pokemon Sun and Moon released in November of 2016, and shiny Tapu Koko was released four months later in Japan and eight in Europe and USA. But the other three shiny Tapus were released as entry gifts for online competitions. Tapu Lele in December of 2018, Tapu Bulu in March of 2019, and Tapu Fini in June of 2019. Sword and Shield continued this tradition, with the Glarian birds, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, of course their Glarian forms, being released as entry gifts for online competitions in 2022 being February for Articuno, March for Zapdos, and April for Moltres. If this trend continues, we can expect to see three online competitions in early 2025 that will reward the players with shiny Pokemon. Now, unfortunately, there are, there are so many shiny Pokemon to be released, so it's difficult to tell which Pokemon will be the rewards? The first answer would be the Treasures of Ruin. I could see Woshien being released early, uh, perhaps January 2025, and then Shiny Shen Pao released as an entry gift for the first online competition of 2025 in February, then Ting Lu in March, and Chi Yu in April. Alternatively, this could be used to give away the shiny forms of the Loyal Three, being Okie Dogie in February, Monkey Dory in March, and Pheasantipity in April. You could also include Shiny Ogapon or Petchuran on in January if you want to complete the, the quartet. Although this video is not about mythicals. I'm not talking about mythicals. They're really difficult to predict. And that's not even the end because there's even more Pokemon that could be released at this point. The Paradox Legendary Pokemon could be released as these online competition entry gifts. Perhaps depending on which version you're playing. You know, if you're playing Scarlet, for the February online competition, you could get shiny Walking Wake, in Violet you get shiny Iron Leaves, you know, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And these are really the only shiny Pokemon that can be predicted with what we know already. So this next part is purely speculation, but it will, it'll include all the Pokemon I've missed so far. So let's assume the online competitions in early 2025 will give the Loyal 3 as, a re as entry rewards. This means we can see shiny Treasure of Ruin Pokemon released sometime between February of this year and October of this year. This would place them in between Pokemon Day of this year, where perhaps Urshifu or Ursaluna Blood Moon will be released as shinies, and November, which is when Coridon and Maridon will likely get released. The next gap covers the second half of 2025, which is where, where I imagine the, the Paradox Legendary Pokemon are going to be released sometime in between May to October of 2025, in between the final online competition and Terrapagos being released as a shiny. Okay, there is still a few Pokemon left. Uh, Anamorous, Cali Rex, Spectria, and Glastria. They're from Generation 8, so it's difficult to tell. So they could they could really be released anytime in the next two years. They could be released in 2026, for all I know. And I believe the final Pokemon is Blood Moon Ursa Luna, which I said earlier could be released as a shiny for this Pokemon Day. It's also a good bet to say it could be released as a shiny for next Pokemon Day. Okay, I think I think that's all the shiny Pokemon. Uh okay, bye.